thing is It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. Love that. this morning and Goose was on the couch. What are we gonna do with you? I knew you wouldn't like that bed. You never stick to your word. I'm disappointed in you. How do you know that every time I'm going to do it? No, sir. Not okay. But we still love you anyways. You're not a bad person. You're still a beautiful dog, even though you're stupid. Okay, it's time that this whole situation was handled. How it's like this? Don't even ask. I don't even think this has been run yet, has it? Let's see. Nope. Did not. Perfect. Okay, let's do that. You know, while I'm here, I figure I might as well give you a few dish tips. So, the reason that a lot of these are still in the sink is because they were leftovers from Thanksgiving. They were, like I cooked rice the other night, things that are really sticky in a pan and they aren't easy to get out. So I basically soak them. I fill all of them with water. This does not look very appetizing, but I fill everything with water so that it, um, is less work to actually clean it because then when you go to clean it, it literally everything just slides off for example this was like a casserole covered in sticky stuff so now it's super easy just to literally everything softened you can just wipe all of it off and then rinse it Believe it or not, you guys, I had leftover coffee from yesterday, so I'm kind of feeling iced. So I'm making an iced coffee even though it's winter. Delicious. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Dyson actually and do a little quick cleanup of this area. We can give it up if you really want it. We can stay late till the early morning. Okay, nice and tidy, at least the kitchen, everything's kind of put away. Um, by the way, Hunter is sleeping. He has not been sleeping very well. It's still pretty early, but he, um, I don't know if you guys have heard him been talking about his back hurting really badly. He thinks he might have like a pinched nerve or, I don't know, he needs to go to the chiropractor, I think, and get realigned, but it's kind of weird. He's like a lot of back pain. So we're trying to figure out what that might be. It's kind of scary, but um, 
he hasn't been sleeping because of the back. So whenever he gets into a deep sleep, I like don't want to wake him up because um, I just know how hard it can be when you're not sleeping. So he's just um, sleeping a little bit right now. But I wanted to come in and check on this stain and it's not looking good. Shoot. You can totally see it. That sucks. Frick, you guys. Honestly, you know what? It would have totally been fine if I didn't put the OxyClean on it because that's what, um, that's what, that's what really did it. Because here, the whole stain was here and th even this was part of the stain, but this was just, I like literally just absorbed everything with the paper towel and this side was the one where I put the OxyClean and I start, I saw that it started to turn yellow so I moved it. I, I stopped going over to this side. I just left it. So this is what it would have looked like if I just didn't do that. But I did it over here too and it happened. So great. Now my beautiful white rug is ruined. That's really depressing. Um, and what sucks is that I got this rug at Home Goods and you, it's like, you know, one of a kind. I mean, because I've looked it up online and like you can find it online, but it's like really expensive and I got it for like cheaper. So I'm really bummed about that. But um, he said we could bring it in for a bath. So maybe I'll try that. Or I don't know. Everyone though suggested this product called a Folex, which is like the carpet cleaner. Um, and I know everyone loves it. So I am gonna try that. And see what happens. I'm gonna let this like dry for a few days and like really just like I don't know dry and then I'll try Folex and see if that works and then if it doesn't I guess I'll have to go to the last resort which is having the carpet cleaners um soak it in a bath so it doesn't look that bad from far away but yeah it does shoot he's awake everybody and he's walking like a cripple I am I think it's my sciatic nerve, honestly. He thinks it's a sci sciatic nerve. I'm not being, I'm not being a hypochondriac, but that's I I mean, know. probably what it is. I know. I'm serious. I, I know. Every time I walk or sneeze or do anything, or like just anything like harsh, it like sends pain down from my back down through my buttocks. This is the proper medical term that I read online. Buttocks down through like my leg so it's like super sharp like right in this area and i haven't been sleeping i haven't been sleeping in like five days i haven't had a good night's sleep in no, a while yeah, but... well we thought it was our mattress but it could be because because the sciatic nerve is what's causing me pain but usually it's called the by pain, something else it's called it's called by something else so like the bed could be like what messed up my back and then led to the sciatic was... nerve uh, and then it maybe leads to the side. Yeah. I figure out what to do. I need to stretch my leg and back maybe. I'm going to call a chiropractor. I don't think it's a chiropractor. But maybe. Yes. It'll help something. Chiropractic rehab. Hi. Um, I wanted to see if uh, you guys were accepting new clients. Okay. And um, I wanted to make an appointment for my husband for the soonest availability possible. Can you do four months today? Honestly. Sorry, I need to ask. Check with the schedule. Sure. Yes, that will work. Amazing, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Great, that was easy. Uh, I'm like, I don't want to go to the doctor. I know, but that's what you gotta do when things are wrong. I know, I think it's just like, like in the a way. little realignment. Um, can we get some- uh, That's the first step. Do you have like ibuprofen? Yes, it's in the pantry. Where I started to keep all of the medicines. Right, Goose? Spoon for the sugar, make some medicine go down. Ooh, we are sore for our class yesterday, you guys. I don't think we have ibuprofen. Yeah, we do. We just took them off yesterday. Oh, it's on the front row. <laughs> oh, it's right in the front row, right in front of you. It's funny because um, growing up, if you guys have watched like vlog weeks and stuff with my mom, my mom is like uh, really, harsh and straightforward not like harsh she's just like i can't describe it like she's very blunt she's a nice person but she's like very direct and um so growing up when we would say like i'd be like mom you know where's the advil or something she'll be like it's in the um it's in the cabinet or whatever and i go in the cabinet i can't find it she'd be like 
She'll be like, well, you're not looking very hard. Look harder if I couldn't find it. So now when Hunter can't find anything, I go, look harder. <laughs> but it's true. Because it's, it's true. Well, it's, if you know it's in there. If you don't know it's in there, you wouldn't say that. Totally. It, you yeah. ask me those questions too. But I, I do. I ask you those questions a lot because you're always just moving stuff into No, I know. Rooms. No, totally. And so like, and I, I usually like, like, I might be like, oh yeah, I saw it, like that coat you're looking for. I'll be like, I know, I, I saw it in, in the, the front closet, or I like, saw it in the laundry room the other day. I usually keep it in my closet, so I've been looking everywhere for it, and you hung it in like the front bedroom closet, I know. randomly to get it out of the way. Yeah, you do that all the time. I do do that all the time. Okay, I'm putting on some makeup here at the bar. So we're all we're holding all of the giveaway stuff, you guys. So it's just like crazy. Okay, I want to show you guys how I did my hair the other day. Um, it was, let's see. Oh, how I wore my hair. A lot of you guys commented on stories and on, uh, it was like also the hair I wore in our Amazon video. So I wanted to show you because it's super easy and it's kind of like a really fast way to get like a faux blowout. First, I'm gonna do a little dry shampoo. This is the dry bar, it's almost done. So I'm just gonna finish up this bottle. Really good for absorbing oil. I have different dry shampoos for different things. Some for absorbing oil, some for texturizing, some for volume, like I use them all for different reasons. But this one I like to do for oil. It does not add volume like really at all, but it's good for absorbing the grease. Let me show you guys. So basically you take a section of hair and take the straightener and go over it and you take the brush. And while it's still hot, the hair is hot, you just round the brush under and it kind of gives this like curved blowout effect. So it's like a really fast way to kind of give yourself a faux blowout if you didn't have time to like blow out your hair. It's not gonna be as voluminous as a blowout obviously, but it's better than just stick straight. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I just like love the edges. So I'm gonna do the rest and I'll show you when it's done. Hair is done for the day and it looks like I kind of got it like blown out or it just looks better than it normally would so I'm gonna get dressed I'll show you my outfit I then we're going out to the grocery store I've got to get some nails fixed because wow and um, I know recently I feel like I just got these done like a week ago but I think they're more delicate because these are the white is done separately than the nude so I need to go do that and then I go to the store to get some um, groceries for the week like I was telling you so gonna figure out my outfit I'm just trying to like look presentable when I go out of the house because it's hard when you work from home you want to like get ready for the day so see you soon I mean, before we jump in obviously gonna dive in and, and walk you through the product and walk you through like a, a video screen share and demo but were there any items that you had specific questions on or maybe things that weren't answered on your initial conversation or things that came up since then well I was especially curious to understand the main difference between the Dressed for errands is what I'm wearing. Just this cropped um, tee from Topshop. It comes in black, white, tons of colors. It's super basic and simple. Um, my Walmart sweats, you guys already know, Nike Air Forces. And then this jacket that was in my Black Friday haul um, is from Misguided Hoops H&M. And then just my Louis bag, which is the easiest for errands I find just because it's like a bucket bag. And I am nervous to bring my Chanel like for Erin, so I kind of save it for like nicer occasions because it's so delicate and fragile, like the lambskin, that I don't want to ruin it. So, anyways, this is 
the comfy look. Um, okay, so, oh, that's what I was gonna say. This um, jacket, I've been getting a lot of questions about items from you guys as per usual. Um, I don't just say that, it's because I really do get lots of questions on a lot of stuff that I wear that is in my Black Friday haul. So I think maybe not as many of you, I don't know if you watched the Black Friday haul, but it's not that it was like Black Friday specific, it was just on Black Friday. So it's kind of my one of my normal fashion hauls. It's huge, you guys, like I put so much stuff in it. Probably every single item you're gonna see me wear in Vlogmas is in that haul. So if you wanna just go watch it, just so you can see where everything's from, um, save yourself the time of like having to look for it or ask, it's most likely in there. So go check that out real quick. Um, it's a good one. Lots of like rare, really wearable stuff and comfortable things, so. Okay, um, I'm about to leave for the store and I'll see you guys there. Just pulled up to the nail place um, and I'm gonna go in and get my nails repaired. I go to Villa Nails in Frisco um, and actually one of you guys messaged me and said that they did the best next gen ever and they really do. Like honestly, it's so nice I can go in and ask for just, you just say you want a next gen manicure, you don't even have to ask for anyone specific, like they're all so good, um, which is amazing. So I think this was totally my fault, the fact that they um, broke, and these are this is just more of a delicate style, but um, yeah, so I need to go in and get those repaired, but every single time I get my nails done, they're incredible, so thank you for the suggestion. Okay, also wanted to put a little PSA out there. Um, about links and you know where I get things and I just know during vlogmas um, because of the giveaways and stuff there's a, a lot of comments and messages that are probably going to get a little bit lost I'm gonna do my best to respond to everything that I can um, or if I see it coming in a lot I will you know post a link to it or something but I just, I know a lot of you guys like ask for links and stuff, but I want you to know that mostly everything that I talk about, I have either posted somewhere, I've shown it in a video, I've linked it on Instagram, it's under a highlight, it's under um, an image in Instagram with a tag. So do your research, um, kind of like, there's a lot that you could find probably on your own before you like have to message me and then go at the risk of me like not seeing the message. So um, I don't know, that's just something I do when I wanna know where something's from, like from a certain blogger. I'll just like, if I see something on their stories, like, I don't know, let's say these sunglasses. Well, then I'll just go to their Instagram feed and I'll like scroll until I see the glasses, click on the picture, hold my finger down on the tags and the brand comes up and then I can type it in Google and I find it. So that's a really easy example. For example, these glasses are on my Instagram feed. They're tagged in multiple photos. So just go there, just you can click them, find out where they're from, they're Gucci and boom, that's easy. Also, I have highlights on my Instagram dedicated to home decor. I have one dedicated completely to my office, um, to the Christmas decor. So if you wanna know where the Christmas tree is from, it's linked there. If you have any questions about any of the rugs, the vases, the um, anything, it's linked under home decor. Anything in my office, you will find under the office highlight. So I've created it that way so that you guys have resources. I also have a frequently asked questions um, highlight that I've saved all my Q and A's under. So just a lot of random stuff that people wanna know under there. I, I will always wanna help you guys and answer like where links are from. You know, I do my best to do that, but I'm just saying this because of the season specifically. There's just so many messages and comments going on. And honestly, like I hate, Instagram DMs is the worst kind of interface. Like they do not, they need to organize it more like an email system. I can't type in and search anything. I can't, it's just almost impossible to like filter through DMs. So very frustrating, but um, Anyway, so I'm just one person, so I just wanted to kind of point that out. Um, and also, I think for those of you who keep up with my videos, like if you watch all of the videos, then you know where everything's from, because I will at some point always say where everything is from, so.
anywho, it's my rant. Um, I'm gonna go inside and get my nails fixed, and then I'll be back. Got the nails fixed. They are mm, a little questionable. I'm gonna have to kind of like fix the shape a little bit because he didn't really quite match the shape perfectly. Um, that's because he didn't do them the first time, so it's fine. Um, okay, so I'm at the grocery store in the parking lot. I'm switching it up and I'm going to Whole Foods today. Normally I go to Central Market, which is a grocery store here in Texas. It's kind of like Safeway or H-E-B or something like that. So, um, going to Whole Foods because I am on the hunt for the Chia Kombucha. I can't find it anywhere and I feel like Whole Foods will be the only place that has it um, because I'm having some weird, like my stomach, I don't know, my digestion I feel like is off. I can feel it and um, the Chia kind of helps, I don't know, move everything through. So I'm gonna try and find that. Um, okay, so I'm making my meal plan. I always like to plan out what I am making for the week and then write out a grocery list. This is how I like make sure that I have all the ingredients that I need for the week. Um, I can plan healthy meals and it cuts out time, having to think about what you're gonna make every night, not having the right stuff, um, maybe going off of your like health or your plan. So this works for me. I just write down all the meals I want and then I break out all the ingredients and I put them on a list. So, um, oh, I need to get turkey. Um, where it's already Tuesday, so I only need to make things for tonight, Thursday, um, to my, tonight, tomorrow night, Thursday, and then we'll probably end up going out by Friday because I'm leaving for Germany on Saturday. So um, I'm gonna do like Chipotle bowls one night, um, like at home Chipotle bowls with like a veggie base, and then I'm gonna make a soup, a white chicken chili, and then salmon and green beans. So pretty easy for lunches, just salads. I got some, I'm gonna get some stuff for smoothies. Um, and that's kind of it. I saw a Prime delivery truck and like picking up, you know, Whole Foods partnered with Prime. And I'm trying to figure out how I can get Prime to deliver to my house. I'm technically outside of the delivery zone because the Whole Foods is like kind of far from my house. It's about 25 minutes. So I drive all the way in for Whole Foods, but how can I trick the system to get them to come to my house. Like, I somebody, I think my neighbor told me if I put in the zip code just like across the street that it actually works, which is crazy because it's like the same distance, but they're picky about the zip code. So does anyone have any ideas, any hacks on how you can get Amazon <laughs> to deliver your groceries outside of the zone? Because like, it would save me so much time. Let's go. Okay, absolutely no luck with the kombucha, but I did see my friend Tessa on Instagram drink this coconut eggnog and she said this is the best one she found. So I think I'm gonna get that. We make some spiked eggnog. I mean, very fitting for the holidays. And what else? I, of course, I got a faulty cart, you guys. It's making so much noise. It's so embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna get some tzatziki to put on top of my salmon. And then grandma's hummus, which is the shiz, you guys. If you live in Texas, best hummus in the world. I don't understand. Okay, it's a whole wall of kombucha. Where is the chia kombucha? Why don't they make it? I don't get it. I guess I could just put chia in my own kombucha. Maybe I'll just do that. Should I just do that? Let's see. Probably didn't sell well, but it's so great. And lately, for when we're in a hurry, I love just getting these chicken salads and we can like put them on top of toast or something. Very convenient if you don't have a lot of time. We're on top of salad, lettuce, it's great. Also, um, some hemp seeds. I got some chia, I'm just gonna put it in myself. And maca powder. Um, I watched Romy Stride, um, the Victoria's Secret model, her What I Eat video, and she made this smoothie with all this stuff, including this protein powder with chocolate. So I'm gonna try it and I got the chia, but she did the hemp and the maca, so. Just trying to be a Victoria's Secret model, you know? No, I'm just kidding. I just need like meal ideas, like healthy meal ideas, and models tend to have a lot of healthy food ideas. Um, okay, oh, I wanna get some tortilla chips. Speaking of healthy, wink. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can find some decent ones. Do we wanna do a grain-free? I think they are grain-free, they're corn, right? 
Oh, siete. Yeah, these are supposed to be good. Okay, let's try these. These are just normal sea salt. Siete. Let's do it. These look good to me. I think those are healthy. I've seen a health blogger use those. Okay, got the good. Okay, just got home, got all the groceries, and I'm so hungry. I'm gonna make us something. And I think I'm gonna do these GG crackers. If you haven't heard about these, Google them. They are... They, I really want a smoothie, I'm just craving a smoothie. So I'm gonna make that next. I'm hoping maybe this will help with the digestion issue. I don't know why, but maybe it will. Very. Protein powder that I got. Maca powder. I don't know what it does, but it's supposed to be good. Lastly, some hemp seeds. Of course the oatly and I got the a lot of oatly has oil in it um, but Romy's video she said the low-fat version doesn't have oil so I got that one which is great because we don't want oil in our milk that's creepy I'm so busy with work and I'm like balancing my job I'm getting price quotes over to people and YouTube videos so I feel like I've been out of it I wanted to go to the store but I had a work call okay. and I have a work call in 20 minutes and I have my back appointment in 45 oh yeah so. for that. okay making dinner uh, it's about time that I started cooking again so, got the groceries finally today, as you guys saw. I'm gonna do some salmon. This is literally just on foil for easy cleanup. There's nothing on this. I'm putting it in for 20 minutes, and then I'm just heating up some oil here. I'm going to saute green beans. These are already trimmed and cut, which is so easy, and some broccoli. Okay, salmon just came out of the oven, and I'm sauteing the broccoli and green beans, and I'm just gonna put a little chopped garlic in there and let that cook for like a minute so it doesn't burn. Put a little extra flavor. On the bottom. A bunch of them. And then top with the salmon and a little tzatziki sauce. So we just got this from Whole Foods today. Wow, this is really professional. I don't want to get another spoon out. And that's it. So this is the best part about the foil. Literally. Fold that up. And put it in the trash. And that is it. And this pan is ready to go literally back in. It's just hot right now, so I'm going to let it cool down. But super easy cleanup. And here's our bowls. They look so good. Glad back to cooking. I need to get back on it. Okay, Hunter is outside right now. I just made dinner and I'm like, it's hot, it's ready. He's out there, you guys, with a vacuum trying to get water out of this fire pit hole. I swear to you, he has done this four times this week and it keeps filling back up. And I'm like, why don't you just wait? until the day that you're actually gonna build the full fire pit to drain the water so you only have to do it once and he literally just keeps going out there like you are on one you're driving me nuts he wants to go in he wants to go in i wipe his paws 
He digs his mud in his paws. He wants treats. He wants to eat dinner. He wants water. He wants to go pee. He wants to everything. You're too high maintenance. Oh my god. I, I know. I know. Okay, let's hold hands. Someone's got their onesie on. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. What do you mean? It's pretty cute. This thing is smooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, bro. Oh, God, the sciatic nerve. Here we go. Oh, you need to provide an update on the chiropractic appointment. They tell, said tell I the have audience. a strain. They said they think I have a strained muscle in my back. That the swelling has now pushed on my sciatic nerve and is causing like a pinched nerve that's like hurting, going through my ass, my leg. Yeah. And I have to go back on Monday for a massage of that specific muscle and then get another checkup. And if it's still hurting at that point, I might have to then get like an MRI or a CT scan or something like that to see, make Do sure. Do they have that, that equipment? No, I have to go to like a doctor, but I think it's did fine. your insurance cover the uh, yeah, but I think everything's fine He did some realignment which I like real I like getting my shit cracked you love a crackle I love a good like you love a good cinnamon good nibble, crack. cinnamon nibble crack. Cinnamon nibbles. Um, But yeah, I think everything is okay. Thanks for checking. Thanks for warning. Mm -hmm. Thanks for caring. Thanks caring for sharing. Thanks for sharing. You know who's a carer and a sharer? Who? Kisses. That dude right there. Oh, hey, buddy. Anyways, we're in bed. Suits. We're gonna watch a movie. Joy's looking for bathing suits. For Hawaii. For Hawaii. I just realized, Hawaii. like, oh my god, I don't have any bathing suits. We're gonna watch our movie. We started a movie called The King. I've seen it already. I really liked it, so I'm making Julia watch it. We got halfway through it like two nights ago and we fell asleep, so we're gonna watch the other half. Speaking of this movie that I just watched, The King, Yeah. I have a few Netflix shows that I'd recommend. You might yeah. have seen some of them. Um, one, probably my favorite miniseries on Netflix is Godless. I really like it a lot. I've seen it twice. Every person I tell to watch it, they watch it and they freaking love it. They say it's their favorite series on Netflix. I really like it a lot. What's the, um, movie we watched the other night with Vanessa Hudgens, the Christmas one? I didn't like that one. I know. That's why we're going to give the reviews of Christmas? what things we've seen. The Night Before Christmas. The so Night cheesy. with a K. K and I G H T. Vanessa Hudgens, though, so you, I you know, had like to watch it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. No, it was all. really bad. I was a snoozer um, for me. And then The Irishman, which is all the rage, we yeah. watched, and we only got through about half of it. It's, it's long. Super it's long. three and a half hours. So the girls in the morning toast were talking about it. Yeah. I love that. We need to start that over. I would, I would like to watch it. It's basically, like, it feels like a, like a biography kind of. <sighs> you know, where yeah. you watch like the full thing. Well, we started watching it, and I wasn't like really paying attention. And then I passed out. I was like out of it, so I didn't really catch much much of it at all. Yeah. Um, other shows we liked. We really liked You. Yes, You is really good. That's like I feel like people have probably already seen it because it was like a while back, but that one's really good. We um, we really liked. Um, well, I love. We, love, we like Ozarks. Oh yeah, Ozark's you still need to watch is good. Season, you need to watch season two still. I know I do. Um, and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh that's wait, Amazon Prime though. When does that not... start? Is that this week? Yeah. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Favorite show. Amazing, really great show. You know what I like about it too is that I don't, I don't necessarily think she's funny. Like that's not why I watch it. I watch it because of the time period. Yeah. And I like like the other stuff. Okay. Um. We also really liked. Man, did you watch Manhunt with me? I didn't watch it. Manhunt is so good. It's about the Unabomber. I also watched Mindhunter by myself. Two seasons of that. You like like Bomb. yeah. Your shows are like intense. Mindhunter is really great. Manhunt's really great. Mindhunter I just finished and there's two seasons. I think there's probably gonna be a third, but I'd recommend Mindhunter. Really good. Really, oh, really good. Oh, um, you like Peaky Blinders? Peaky For Blinders. All the dudes. Peaky Blinders. I got one episode left of that show. Actually, one of my girlfriends said she liked Peaky Blinders because there's like love stories and stuff. So I was like, okay. It's good. It's good. But I haven't gotten into it. Yeah, Peaky Blinders is good. Um, and then... I need like girly shows. I need to watch Dynasty. I've heard that's really good. Um, and I want to watch... The show we watched when we first moved into this house, we watched it for like the first like few months, was Heart of Dixie. We talked about it the <sighs> other day. God, I almost want to rewatch it. That was on um, Hulu? It's on Netflix, I think. Netflix. It's really so good. good. It's like a, it's like... We need more shows I like feel like that. it's one that you kind of have to get your man into. Julia yeah. had to get me into it. I didn't really care much about it. And I still didn't really care a ton about it. It was just like... 
easy. It was easy. It was, like, like I said, lighthearted, but like nice to just like wind down to each other. Yeah. Night. And we were able to spend time together. Yeah. It was cute. There's not enough of Super shows cute. that are just like that. Like, we need the more of the Gossip Girls of the world. Like, very light heart, heart of Dixies. Like, just shows that are, like, stupid. I know. There's not enough. No. I think it's competitive now. It's a competitive place. Um, what else? My favorite movie <laughs> that, like, came out to theaters is also on Netflix now. It's been on Netflix for like a year now, but it's my favorite movie ever. It's called Hostiles or Hostels with Christian Bale. And he's lead leading a, ch he's like an old soldier back in like the Civil War times kind of, maybe before that. Fantastic. And movie. he's leading a Native I, American chief back to some burial ground and it's, I love it. I even so love good. that one. It's my favorite. That one's really good. Mm -hmm. I've had the best time I know. watching you guys do the red bell pepper, green bell pepper challenge Once. thing, watching everybody. And it's so cool because... Like, we don't, it's normally just, like, us talking to you guys, and, like, we, it, you just can't, like, tell who everybody is, so then going literally through all the stories and seeing all of you guys on camera is the coolest thing. It, it is. like, we literally feels like tonight. a family. Like, I'm like, that's our family. Like, we're those watching, are them. We are watching the videos of y'all doing the challenge or just, like, showing that you're watching our video at that moment for the, for the giveaway entry from day two, and... It just meant a lot to us watching y'all on video so and just much. seeing like who you were and who y'all are and it's like a community I feel like that's how it felt so the giveaway for today is to comment down below your favorite Netflix show and your favorite movie of all time and this way everyone can see the comments so you guys can yeah. all just go through and get a million recommendations and maybe say like why you like it or a little bit description so that people like know what it's about anyways okay. we love you guys really appreciate it all the support you give us on YouTube and Instagram, all the love you show, and we're excited to see you tomorrow. I know, we love you guys so much. Sleep tight. Bye.